strangest last meals. In some states in America and other countries with legal capital punishment, there exists an interesting custom for criminals on death row. The infamous last meal. Convicted felons are granted the opportunity to select any food and drink of their choice within certain regulations on the eve of their execution. Here are some of the strangest meals ever recorded. Jim Beam. Someone just asked for a bottle of Jim Beam. Number 20. Victor Harry Fagger. In 1963, 28-year-old Victor Harry Fager was sentenced to death by hanging for convicted kidnap murder. For his final meal, the young man had only one request, a single olive with the pit left in. After his execution, the just olive pit was found inside Fager's suit one? pocket, contributing to the popular belief that he intended to be buried alongside it so that the olive tree symbolizing peace would sprout from his grave. For a dangerous huh. criminal, it's almost a touching sentiment. Yeah, I was gonna say. Number 19. <laughs> what the fuck? Gerald Lee I did not expect that. Gerald Lee Mitchell's <laughs> final meal was even sweeter than huh. Fagger's, but in an entirely different sense. Candy? As he awaited his final moments on death row, Mitchell had only one thing on his mind when it came to his final meal. An assorted bag of Jolly Ranchers Ooh, candy. Those After finishing go hard. the entire bag before facing the final curtain, those go it's hard. safe to say this criminal intended to go out on a real sugar high. Number 18, <laughs> Lawrence Russell Brewer. While some have a clear idea of the last thing they'll ever eat, others are totally spoiled. What the for fuck choice. was that? Hold on. What was that? You got the ramen, the mayonnaise, the relish, the honey, the the tuna, the mustard. What the? Hey, yo. When times are hard, I guess. Some yeah. have a clear idea of the last yeah. thing they'll ever eat. Others are totally spoiled you get that. for choice. <laughs> Taking full advantage of this unusual opportunity, convicted killer and white supremacist Lawrence Russell Brewer decided to indulge in an enormous feast in 2011. He requested two fried chicken steaks with gravy and onion, Ooh. a triple bacon cheeseburger, a Ooh. cheese omelet with ground beef, tomatoes, okay. onions, bell peppers, and jalapenos, three fajitas, a meat feast Those pizza, people ask a for candy and an over, olive. a pound of barbecued meat with half a loaf of white bread, Peanut butter this man asked for Golden Corral. And a <laughs> like, God damn. Cream, all washed down with three root beers. And Ugh. a final screw <laughs> to the justice system, though. Brewer refused to eat a morsel when the order arrived, claiming that he wasn't hungry. Texas Senator this John son of a was bitch. so furious Come that he on, decided dude. to ban the last meal request in the state, so future death row prisoners have Lawrence Russell Brewer God, to blame he for ruined it. prison slop. He ruined Number it for 17, everyone. John this Wayne dude. Gacy. Another felon who Come capitalized on. on his last meal request this was guy. the notorious serial what killer a troll. John Wayne Gacy, otherwise known as the Killer Clown Pogo. Oh, I'm aware For of this his guy, final yeah. supper, Gacy ordered 12 fried shrimp, a bucket of original recipe KFC, french fries, and a pound of strawberries. Prior to his conviction, Gacy had managed three KFC restaurants in his home city of Waterloo, and he clearly never got tired of that finger-licking goodness. Nobody Number 16, that John tasty. Spencer. That's a good order right For there. For some, food isn't the priority at all when it comes down to making a last order. Previously known as a heavy drinker, Spinkalink denied any special food to be prepared, but asked for a single flask of Jack Daniels instead, oh. which he <laughs> shared with the prison superintendent. After his oh, death, shit. the state of Florida's last meal provisions was revised to exclude alcohol oh, really? altogether, but to be honest, Damn. going out while drunk doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Yeah, Number that's probably 15, why they got like, rid Eileen of it, maybe. Warnos. Eileen Warnos also requested a I thought it was weird that he got alcohol. That makes sense they got rid of it. Her last breath in 2002, but of a different kind. A single cup of black coffee was all she wanted. It may seem like this request this was her nice. way of saying, don't even think about killing me before I've had my morning coffee, but <laughs> Warnos actually had far crazier motivations. In fact, she didn't believe she was going anywhere for long, as her what? notorious last words were, I'd just like to say I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus June 6th. Dwayne? It's safe to say she still hasn't turned up yet. Number 14, Ricky Ray Rector. <laughs> well, Ricky Ray Rector seemed to have similar motivations when it came to his last meal. Rector had ordered a tasty sounding meal consisting of steak, fried chicken, and cherry Kool-Aid, followed Ooh. by a slice of pecan pie, Ooh. but he left his dessert untouched. When asked why he changed his mind on the sweet treat, Richter simply said he was saving it for later. Whether this was intended as an ironic joke or later. a sinister hint that his return in the afterlife was imminent is entirely up to you. Number 13. That's interesting. Timothy what a good order, Bay. though. What this senseless killer ordered as his last two rounds might surprise hungry. you, given the seriousness of his crimes. All McVeigh wanted to eat before his execution in 2001 was two pints of mint chocolate chip ice Ooh, cream. That was underrated. unclear whether one <laughs> underrated. chilled as he guzzled down the first I love or mint chocolate chip ice into cream. a puddle beside it. To be honest, for a man responsible for 168 innocent deaths, 
Even melted ice cream seems far too generous. Number 12, Jesus. David Leon Woods. Okay. Convicted murderer David Leon Woods spent a whopping 22 years on death row before he was put to death on May 4, 2007 in Michigan, Indiana. When the daunting moment finally came, Woods had a fairly simple request for his last meal. He chose a standard pizza and an entire birthday cake, both of which he shared with his family. Aww. As it turns out, his birthday was actually three months after his execution, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. You Number 11. Pizza. Thomas J. Grasso. But, Thomas you know. J. Grasso was not <laughs> the brightest of the bunch, and when Judgment Day came in 1995, his final what meal request <laughs> reflected his questionable life exactly. choices. He ordered a plethora of extravagant foods like two dozen steamed clams, half a dozen barbecued ribs, a Burger King Ooh. double cheeseburger, and two Ooh. strawberry milkshakes alongside Ooh. a can of SpaghettiOs to be served at room temperature. When Grasso's mm. meal arrived, he was served spaghetti and meatballs instead, a oh. mistake he'd never forgive, as his final words were, I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got <laughs> spaghetti. I want the press to know this. It was his last meal wish, and Ben got spaghetti, spaghetti instead of SpaghettiOs, and that was the last straw. The press to know this. Number Jesus. 10, Stephen Wayne Anderson. Grasso isn't the only one to throw a seemingly random ingredient into the mix when concocting the perfect final meal. Stephen Wayne Anderson was a pretty deadly criminal, but his food choices were interesting to say the least. Before his execution in California in 2002, the 48-year-old requested two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a hominy corn mixture, peach pie and chocolate chip ice cream, and, well, a big helping of radishes on the side. Number what? 9, Peter J. Minio. <laughs> it's all looking good until then. Convicted killer Peter J. Minio could give Lawrence Russell Brewer a run for his money. Yeah, I'm going to start one drooling. Of the biggest for orders Careful. ever served God on damn. death row in 2004. Minio confessed to his crimes and was vocal about being ready to pay the price, but not before he gorged himself on this whopping order. He requested 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, Jesus. two double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, God fried damn. chicken, spaghetti with salt, and a modest dessert of half a chocolate cake, caramel pecan fudge ice cream, and a small fruit cake. To wash it all down, he also had two lots of Coke, Pepsi, root beer, and orange juice. Maybe he intended to explode Henry VIII style before facing the music. Number yeah. 8. Uh. Velma Barfield. That makes sense. <laughs> this sweet, God-fearing grandmother became known as the Death Row Granny. Velma Barfield was the first woman put to death in the U.S. in 22 years when she was executed by lethal injection in 1982, but not before she was granted one final meal. A cup of tea, a slice of coffee cake, or a fruit scone might be what you'd expect, but all Barfield really wanted was a packet of cheese doodles and a can of Coke. <laughs> but for a devout Christian huh? old lady who also killed six people, what can you really expect? Number the cheese seven, doodles and some Robert coke. Alton Harris. <laughs> Interesting. When you're ordering your final meal on death row, it's important to cover all bases. And why that is the weirdest takeaway to get? That was the weirdest one for sure. Well, I don't know. Someone asked for just a bag of candy. At least you got a soda. Never mind. <laughs> when you can combine the lot, this is exactly what murderer Robert Alton Harris did in 1992 when he requested a 21-piece bucket of KFC and two large Domino's pizzas Ooh. alongside a six-pack of Pepsi with Ooh. ice cream and a bag Ooh. of jelly beans for dessert. And a packet of Camel cigarettes for good measure. Harris <laughs> is most remembered for his final words, though, which were, You can be a king or a street sweeper, but everybody dances with the Grim Reaper. Kind of prophetic for a seasoned criminal, don't Damn, you think? Yeah, yeah. Number six, yeah, actually. Ronnie Lee Gardner. Plenty of death row criminals have used their final meal as an opportunity to make smart choices, and Ronnie Lee Gardner was certainly determined to make his sitting last as long as possible. He didn't go too overboard on his order of steak, lobster tail, apple pie with vanilla ice cream, and a 7-Up, but he also had another request, to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy while eating. Surprisingly, Gardner what a request. was permitted to do so, he was? a combined runtime of more than 11 hours. The criminal was allowed. The longest what was his crime? Ever. That Number is so five, surprising. Philip Workman. What the fuck? Gluttony was the last <laughs> thing to watch the trilogy. mind when he requested his final meal. His final request was for a large vegetarian pizza to and be you got all to that a random homeless insane. person. But prison officials refused to do so, and he ate nothing. In a surprising turnout, on the day of his death on May 9th, homeless shelters in Tennessee received large amounts of vegetarian pizzas from people all over the country. So at least he did one good deed nice. before his death. <laughs> Number 4. Angel Nieves Diaz. 
Philip Workman may have gone hungry because of his strangely selfless request, but Angel Nieves Diaz deliberately turned down his last meal. As he didn't order anything special, Diaz will serve the regular Wednesday prison menu of shredded turkey with taco seasoning, cheese, rice, pinto beans, tortilla shells, apple crisp, and ice cream. As surprisingly Ooh, nice as that sounds, spread. Diaz that refused sounds nice. to eat that too. <laughs> and in his final words, he condemned the death penalty as a form of vengeance, but also a cowardly act by humans. <laughs> Number three. Oba Chandler. Okay. For his last meal, he ordered two salami sandwiches on white bread with mustard and peanut butter, and a grape jelly sandwich on white bread with iced tea and a coffee. And with all that bread, it's safe to say, That's another one bread, bites yeah. the crust. But another one bites the crust. All right, dude. Check my screen <laughs> and in the description if Good you feel one. the need to expose the world to more crummy puns. Number two, all right. Dale Conklin. Got that was such a weird head. order. That was I, I, you can make that shit at home. I mean, he can't go home, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> like he just picked the most like shit you can make at home. But that was weird. I thought he'd get like fast food and shit, <laughs> like a steak and maybe even like what the fuck? And bacon, deveined shrimp, sautéed in garlic butter with lemon, baked potato with sour cream, and chives, and real sandwich. bacon bits. Corn on the cob. He's not this kind of guy. He don't, he want the rush, he don't want the restaurant butter, food. Cheese, he don't want the fast cantaloupe, food. He wants the home ice cream food. And iced tea. Number one, James Edward Smith. This convicted felon had one of the most bizarre last meal requests ever recorded. When it came down to his final meal request in 1990, all he wanted was a lump of soil. Although some have speculated that he did indeed intend to chow down on the dirt, others have suggested he planned to perform a voodoo ritual as the soil was specified to be the Rekunda type associated with witchcraft. As dirt was oh. not on the list of foods permitted by prison regulation, <laughs> Smith's request was denied oh. and he was served a cup of yogurt instead, <laughs> which of course is the only reasonable alternative. Yes, so, the closest alternative. <laughs> That's, in their position? They got as close as they could for the man. <laughs> they, they did what they could. Well, that was that was interesting. 